there are a handful of new coordinators in new spots in the NFL, but that doesn't mean that they're in the right spot. Let us know in the comments which coordinator hiring you are not a fan of. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe while you're at it. And shout out to our man's right here for a dope comment on our recent video. Man, man, I'm going to start this one off. I ain't going to lie with you. Yeah, because go I'm, ahead. I'm pretty heated about a certain recent I can feel it. coordinator hiring, and that's Nathaniel Hackett going to the New York Jets. Somebody make this make sense for me. Like, we didn't watch Nathaniel Hackett have one of the worst head coaching seasons in NFL history last season. He led an offense. Mind you, he's an offensive-minded guy. Yeah. He led an offense in the Denver Broncos to the worst points per game total in the entire NFL this past season. How do you go from being fired before your first season as a head coach is even over to being one of the first coordinator hirings of the new cycle? If you're the Jets and you really wanted Nathaniel Hackett to be your offensive coordinator and be the guy to maybe lead Zach Wilson out of this early slump to his career. Oh, you still think it's going to be Wilson? I mean, I think he's going to be on the roster at the very least. I don't know if he's going to be starting. He's going to be on the roster, though. That's for sure. If... Hackett is really the guy you wanted to help lead or usher in that new era. At least wait a little bit. Like, at least wait a little bit to interview a handful of more candidates. I don't know why you rush to go hire somebody like Nathaniel Hackett after what we've seen out of him recently. Again, he had an awful effect on Russell Wilson. And mm -hmm. whether you determine the Broncos' struggles are more Russell Wilson or Hackett or a combination of both, Hackett certainly didn't help. And no. I don't envision him helping a new quarterback groom that will involve Zach Wilson and whoever they decide to bring in in free agency or the draft. I absolutely hate this hire for the New York Jets and head coach Robert Sala, and it doesn't make any sense to me. We'll have but. to see. We'll have to see. This is one of those situations where they, they deem it he's a, a good coordinator, he's a bad head coach. And there Ooh. is a difference. There is a difference. And as far as why he got hired as a head coach in the first place, there are examples. He was well-praised in Green Bay. He had some success. I believe it was in Jackson. And can I say this too? Yeah, go ahead. In New York Jets, if y'all hired this man in the hopes of bringing Aaron Rodgers to New York, making the same mistake that Denver did, y'all should be a damn shame to yourselves. I'm going to leave it at that. Go ahead. Ah, wild. That would have been that'd be hilarious, actually. It would be very <laughs> funny. I don't like Rodgers in that green. I think it was Kyle Hurd that said that. He looks weird in a Jets jersey. I mean, I think that fits – that fit makes sense for Rodgers. Yeah. But, but again, he looks weird in the jersey. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. No, but my my uh, OC, I'm going with an OC too, but I'm going Kellen Moore to the Chargers. And it's I interesting. That. I just think it's interesting because this is a guy that, one, went from being one of the hottest possible head coaching candidates to parting mutual parting of ways with <laughs> Dallas and then having to go find another OC job. And – I don't doubt that I think they'll be able to improve Justin Herbert in the regular season, but what Charger, what the Chargers need to do in particular is they need to get a guy and they need to find a way to get better in the big moments that have needed. The past two seasons now, in the regular season against the Raiders when they had a chance to make the playoffs, and then this debacle of a game against the Jacksonville Jaguars where you give up a 31-point. Shout out to Prince, that was promised. Uh, unbelievable. You give up that 31-point lead. Uh, going for the OC, who now has also the past two seasons had awful play calling at the end of the game. Yeah. I don't know how that match I – don't, I don't understand the hiring in that sense because I get that he's probably going to help Justin Herbert a bit, but – you're not improving the coaching situation in any way. And if you're banking, uh, if you're blaming Mike McCarthy for the issues that happened the last two seasons in the playoffs for you, Dallas, that's right. fine. You could do, definitely do that. I mean, Moore had obviously had a say because he's the play caller. Right. He's not getting a better head coach by going to the Chargers with Staley. <laughs> it's not getting better. So it's like, is he just going to allow Staley to take the blame then? And we're just never going to blame more for, for those awful snafus at the end of the game? Yeah, right. I, I just don't get it. I think for the same situation, they just jumped on that a little too quickly for yeah. me. And I don't get the at least I don't get the haste. Why? Kellen Moore wasn't even a free agent for 48 hours, and they hired this man. You could, OC. you could literally look at the NFL, at, you know, there's quarterback coaches that are probably – like, everybody. You could just look and be like, oh, who might actually help Justin Herbert? <laughs> Instead, they go for this guy who's been on such a downturn because of his play calling in the playoffs. It's just like, I don't get it. I just – I don't get it. I don't absolutely hate the hire, like I said at the top. It's not great again, and I certainly wouldn't have rushed 
to hire this man after the, the way his Steven. last two seasons ended for the Dallas Cowboys. But I'll remind you all that Kellen Moore helped lead the Dallas Cowboys to the top ranked total offense in the NFL just in 2021. Obviously, it took a step back last season or this pet or this current season mm-hmm. that we're currently wrapping up now. But no. a lot of that was due to Dak Prescott having a league high 15 interceptions. So Being that doesn't help Kellen Murray. Yeah, of course, having to play, you know, Cooper Rush for about four or five games that doesn't help either. So I don't hate the Kellen Moore hire, but the timing of it again makes me scratch my head a little bit. If you know who your guy is, you want to rush and get him. That's fine, but he better be the right guy. NFL he better has be the shown right that they guy. do not do their due diligence when hiring guys because they are <laughs> so bad at doing it. Take your dang time. If it if it doesn't, you shouldn't be rushed. Take your time. Relax. Let us know in the comments which of these coordinator hirings you hate worse. Are you team Scott with Nathaniel Hackett? Are you team Matthew with no that Kellen. boy Kellen Moore? Let us know in the comments, and we'll catch you next time. On Chargers are going to keep charging. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out our other videos and don't forget to smack that subscribe button down below while you're at it. Also, for more great and original content, head right over to bbmsports.com.